Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I'm going to flip through three books written by Maya Toll and illustrated by Katie O'Hara. Each of these books also includes a matching deck of 36 oracle cards. Let's do some magical crafting. The books I'm going to flip through are the Illustrated Crystallary, the Illustrated Bestiary, and the Illustrated Herbiary. As you may have noticed from my other videos, I'm left-handed, and so it's my habit to initially page through a book with my left hand from the back of the book forward. I'll leave a link to all three of these books below, and if you enjoy this kind of content from me, kindly leave a like on this video. Each of these three illustrated books include 36 oracle cards illustrated by Katie O'Hara. They're hardbound books with full color covers and beautiful metallic ink on the covers as well. The covers are just stunning. After receiving the Crystallary and Bestiary books for Yule, I loved them so much that I bought the Herbiary immediately. All three of the books follow the same format. These books are not grimoires or book of shadows. They don't tell the magical properties or spells for each crystal or herb. What these books do is set out the oracle card meanings for each crystal, animal, and plant, and then go on to provide a ritual and a reflection for each. Each of the 36 stones, animals, and plants in each book have four pages. The first page is a beautiful, full-page color illustration. These illustrations are also featured on the oracle cards. The second page provides the oracle card meaning for each item. The third page includes a ritual inspired by each item or card. These rituals are simple and require very little in the way of tools. For example, you don't need to own each crystal or herb to do each ritual. Sometimes it's a breathing exercise, a journaling prompt, or energy work. Most of the rituals are mental exercises. The fourth page is a reflection about each item or card. This is generally a paragraph about the themes surrounding the oracle card and accompanying ritual, and then a journaling prompt or a question to consider. In the back of the book is a vellum pocket containing 36 oracle cards in four up sheets. They're perforated and must be separated before using. The cardstock is very thin and it's easy to separate the cards by simply folding them back and forth. However, this also means that the deck of cards is very delicate as well. It's not the typical card thickness. I ended up putting all three decks together in one large drawstring bag for storage. The backs of the cards match the beautiful illustrations on the end papers of each of the books. And the artwork by Katie O'Hara is gorgeous. I'm very inspired by her art style when painting my own oracle card deck. I'll be showing some of my favorite individual cards in a close-up as I flip through each deck. The illustrated crystallary provides guidance and rituals from 36 magical gems and minerals. The illustrated bestiary provides guidance and rituals from 36 inspiring animals. And the illustrated herbiary provides guidance and rituals from 36 bewitching botanicals. These books are very worthwhile to me because of the self-reflection and journaling prompts they provide, along with the artistic inspiration of their beautiful artwork. I'd be very interested to know in the comments if you have any of these books and what your review of them is. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the book and deck flip-throughs without further commentary. 